I, I messed up and I am so sorry. Oh no, what did you do? So you know how when I left for my appointment the last time I told you that I didn't know my schedule and I was gonna text you within the next week as soon as I figured it out and we can get me scheduled for my next appointment? Oh, <gasps> we didn't schedule your appointment. Yeah, and I am so sorry that I'm taking complete ownership of this. You see so many people throughout the day. Like, I, I am so sorry, Bailey. Yeah, but I also feel bad because I should have remembered to text you if I didn't hear from you. Stop. It's not your fault. You see how many people every single day and you're supposed to remember one person didn't reschedule. No, this is my fault. Okay, let me see. Um, I could try to squeeze you in maybe like on one of my days off or something. Absolutely not. You're going to schedule me on a normal day and a normal time frame that you are already typically at work and not a day off. Now, no, I'm not going to be that person. No, you can't do that. It, it's going to be a couple more weeks before I can even get you in. I, it'll be fine. Just I'll just I'll make sure I have coffee that day. No, I'm putting my foot down. I'm not coming in on one of your days off because you deserve that day off, Bailey. So just tell me when a future date that you have about I don't care how far away it is. Just tell me what day and I will be there. Are you sure? I don't want you getting upset that it's been so long by the time you come in and your hair's like super grown out. <laughs> I think your trauma is showing. It's completely fine. My hair is a luxury. It's not a necessity. So it's completely fine if my roots are a little bit more grown out than normal. Okay, well, how about this? I'll text you multiple different openings that I have so that you can figure out which one works best with your schedule. Will that be okay? Perfect. Just let me know whenever you can. I hope you have a good day. Bye.